Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks, and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face, and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? Stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. Found another way. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike. Eggs in here. Okay, setting the charge. Stand back. I don't think this is the one where he kills us. are kind of pretty. Yeah, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Heave it, group! Hey, don't tell me that. Aura. Not me! Okay, Rocket, you're up! Come on, Pete! Feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you.
What's Hottie tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh, yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something. <clears throat> Hey, group, buddy, think you could lift this? No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hold tight. Let's play elevator, Groot. I am Groot. Up we go. Up we go, Groot. I am Groot. Thereabouts. I am Groot. You find anything, Peter? Something in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Push that up, Groot. Right about there. Groot, a little help? I am Groot. That's good. I am Groot.
We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. Galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. Finally, the face of a thousand lies! I think... It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? Scott! Watch out, everybody! Nice landing, Scott Guy. Uh, thanks. You don't usually do it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flarkin, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, don't no! I'm do... done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're Let's just hear Mantis do. out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably gonna die. Did she or did she? Rocket, don't!
Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. One where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I! Are you Spartoy? Why did I know that? Maybe you aren't always... And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. <sighs> More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, the towery Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. Sh this is impossible! I thought I'd never see these workers again! I hoped I never would! Terrible! Couldn't agree with you more! You couldn't have warned us that Shatari were hiding out in this cave? They are yeah. always! Sometimes I think they're starting to kill little eyeball guys! You know the ones I'm talking about, Shatari? I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes! What I don't get is why they'd be here! Feel free to ask them! Now, music to my 
making drags talk to me about religion! Okay, this is officially too weird! Right. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, come Mora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make amends, well.
back then. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Um... Guys... I know, Little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Okay, that almost worked. Almost dry is still wet. And it's helpful is still not. It's got roots going everywhere, Peter. Yes! And... Ugh, crap! It must still be stuck somewhere. Aha! The root of our problem. Still holding on. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rock needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking. What would you guys do without me? Yeah. Where, oh, where? Get the Almighty Star Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. I could try blowing it up. No! Bullseye! Bullseye! Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about that? It was working for a sec. I just need to reload faster. Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. You could try to ask it to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plants. See? I told you. Bad, you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Half worked. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. All right, I'm on it. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. Does Cramp Corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. 
Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball right. I can't tell. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No flarking way! I heard Jelly! It doesn't matter who's right. Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shatari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I'm with Groot. Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to gloat. It's like you're more set. Nothing's messing with us. Send them all! sure we're back with lead. We can't keep doing this. What are we supposed to do? Ignore it? This isn't right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. Shh. What do you mean? Shh. It's your last right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. 
Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The Fog Entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the Fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some Fog Monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And... If this Fog Monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Okay. One last time! It's fine! Remember this part? Okay. Okay, look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so uh, He says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Talk about bad breath! We gotta do something to shut it trap! These imposters are just gonna keep coming! It's this damn ball! Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Ah! 
Guys, guys, guys! I don't know if you noticed yet, but this galaxy needs saving. Uh, I thought that's what we were doing. We may not be the biggest, the smartest, or even the most powerful warriors around, but just like David facing Goliath, we can win. Who's with me? Unfortunately, well, we are. You see what I see? Yeah! Yeah! I can get in there! Okay! So let's blow this thing to hell! Don't know how much longer I can hold this off, Peter! Don't run me! Oh. <laughs> Never thought I'd say it? What, Better. evil me? Let's get it. Didn't work. Feels like it should have worked. Then why are we still fighting them? Uh, us. Them. The source is half destroyed. Who so says we must finish the job? Ah, uh, fuck. Guess that didn't get it deep enough. Find another entry point, Quill. Good uh -oh. to see a lively crash again. Two baddies trying to kill us. Do those and call me in the morning! I'm thinking all it takes is one more glass. No! The water, Quill! I... I can't! You know I can't! Fuck it! No! Keep shooting! It's gotta end sometime! Watch your back! <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. 
Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy catastrophe, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill. That does sound like me. Relax, nobody ever gets eaten. We're here. Home of the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe he's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's gotta go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, 
Can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th what the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. 